Hello, amateur radio friends. I am Oscar November 7, Oscar Fox Fox. And today I'll make a uh, five to seven minute video regarding some tips and tricks on the use of DT software together with your Hermes Light or your Anon radio. These are advanced tips and tricks. Probably you're not aware of them. So I hope it is a new information for you and I'm teaching you something new. Um, if you are displaying the band adapter and you have these different spots here from the cluster, in a previous video I explained you on how to display these uh, uh, spots. So please, I refer to the other video if you want to know more about it and how to display it. But uh, this video has to do with on how you can visualize who is a spotter. So imagine you are on the frequency, somebody spotted your call sign, and you can see that your call sign has been added to the list. Uh, it's an easy uh, way to figure out who spotted you, how you do it. You go and click in the middle of the pen adapter and then you push the shift key and look what happens. You see the call signs here? They're changing. So actually when you sh push, push the shift key, it will display the uh, call sign that spotted this particular station. Okay, that's uh, the first trick. The second trick is has to do with um, <clears throat> your... Uh, frequency uh, moving around. Um, now let me just go to 40 meters because I'm not on 40 meter here with my antenna. Um, and uh, we are in lower sideband. So if uh, you want to quickly just uh, move around the pan adapter or the frequencies, you can move your mouse to the top and you move it around just when you see your mouse changing in shape. So this is to move around the entire pan adapter overview and I'm going to position it so I've got uh, the entire uh, 40 meter band right in front of my nose. There you go. And now you can uh, quickly just move the pan adapter around. If you click in the middle and you move your mouse around, you can see that you are changing the frequency you are monitoring. And uh, there is a other way is when you right click your mouse in the middle of the pan adapter, it's going to toggle between frequency uh, selection and I just clicked on it and you can see there is a yellow line appearing. So when this yellow line appears, when I click again with the right mouse, it's going to go away. But when I have the yellow mouse appearing, it means I can quickly move uh, to that particular frequency by clicking with the, the left mouse. So if I click here, you can see that now the receiver has moved to that particular frequency. So if I click here, yeah, let me just go here. I want to listen to this station. I just click here and it will automatically um, move to that frequency. Now I got mine snap, <clears throat> snap to, to the frequency. Um, as you can see here, uh, currently my tune step is five kilohertz. So if I go to one kilohertz, uh, I will be able, and I click right click again, it will actually snap to 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 the uh, to the kilohertz, but this is something you need to configure. So if you go to setup, <clears throat> you go to general, and uh, you go to options, uh, you need to have snap, click, tune enabled, and this means it will snap. If I don't have the snap tune enabled, let me just disable it for a second, and I click somewhere, you can see that it's going to take a random frequency. Now, when I enable snap click tune, it will go to that frequency that I'm clicking to. OK, uh, let me just click this one away. Now, if I want to just uh, freely move around my um, receiver, I just right click again and then I can just move it again around. OK, so that's an interesting one as well, I think. Um, another uh, shortcut that you have on the TT software uh, is right here. It's behind these, what is it, uh, blobs and peak. The menu, when you right click, is the same for both, but this will help you to quickly enable, disable a couple of things uh, like info. Info refers to the information. When I move my mouse towards the pan adapter, you see that there is no information displayed. When I right click on top of it and I enable it, you can see that there is more information available. And these are the different options. So you can turn on and off the spots uh, on your pen adapter uh, very quickly. You can also fill or uh, unfill the uh, waterfall, sorry, the, the, the pen adapter. 
uh, receiver and uh, you can also disable and enable CFC and also the leveler okay so this is also quite an easy one it's a very uh, easy way to quickly enable and disable uh, stuff okay um, so that's basically it for today five minutes I have one more thing I would like to show to you and I would like to know if you are interested um, my logging program I'm using is uh, BB Logger. I like BB Logger because I was using another software from Oscar November 2 Whiskey India, but unfortunately it did not have the features that I was looking for. Uh, this one has quite a lot of features that I like because you can synchronize it also with QRZ.com. But one feature that was lacking is that uh, it did not read the frequency I was currently monitoring. So what I've done um, is install some extra software so I can eventually read out the uh, frequency that I'm currently on. So if you look and I log a new call, uh, new call sign or new contact, um, you can see that actually when I open my let's say I go to 20 meter, you can see it's 7.142 and you see that my logging program says it's 7.1426, okay? But if I go to 20 meter, for example, it will automatically update uh, my frequency in a fraction of like four or five seconds. So what happens is that, um, updating it, there you go. Now it updated it, so it's every, it, pull, it, it, it pulls information from the TT software like every 15 seconds or something like that. Um, now, if you are using user of BB Logger, let me know in the um, comments section or if you have another uh, logging software. Um, I can make a separate video regarding on how you can make this work uh, because you need some extra software uh, and you, make to, you need to make the bridge between the TT software and your logging program. I can explain the basics in another video. Let me know if you're interested in knowing because I think I need about 10 to 15 minutes to explain you. Let's say 10 minutes to explain you on how to enable this feature. So you don't have to type in and copy the frequency you're on. It will do this automatically. Okay, I hope this has been a useful video. 73s, Oscar November 7, Oscar Fox Fox signing off. Bye-bye.